A group of climate change protesters have decided not to appear in court, instead gluing themselves outside in a show of what they call resistance. The four activists from Insulate Britain are accused of breaching a high court injunction aimed at limiting climate change protests on the M25. From the Royal Courts of Justice, Sam Holder reports. They brought streets and motorways to a standstill by gluing themselves to the road and each other. So perhaps it was no surprise that with 19 Insulate Britain members at the Royal Courts of Justice today, at least a few of them would get the sticky stuff out. The 19 were here on contempt of court charges for breaking injunctions banning them from blocking the roads. So in a sense, these four, who refused to appear before the judge, were in contempt of their contempt of court hearing. Arrest warrants were issued. The 15 who did appear were facing a maximum of two years in jail and an unlimited fine. In a bizarre moment, two defendants who admitted in court to being in contempt, saying they had broken the injunction to protest, were freed because the judge said that when they were arrested, they technically weren't on the motorway. Lord Justice William Davis told the pair, despite you wanting the opposite, we as a court will not find somebody in contempt if, in fact, they are not. You've walked free today. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit surprised, to be honest. Well, pretty much, well, I was expecting the worst, and then whatever happened after that, um, you're more able to deal with it. So, yeah, it was quite shocked. You actually said in court that you didn't have a leg to stand on, is that right? Yeah, I said, yeah, I didn't have a leg to stand on. Yeah, I said I didn't have a problem accepting that. Um, I was aware that the injunction was in place and that I thought I'd broke it. Inside court, there was a sense of defiance. Defendants giving long environmental speeches, followed by rapturous applause. Stephanie is one of those potentially facing a jail term. In all truth, I am more scared of the, the, the future that awaits my two children if we don't do this. I'm a scientist myself. I used to work in operating theatres, training world-class surgeons. To me, there's no point in having a career centred around saving people's lives when the biggest threat to our civilization that we have ever faced is unfurling in front of our eyes. That threat, of course, is climate change. Insulate Britain say they want more government action to cut carbon emissions. And despite a real chance of more than a dozen being sent to jail, they aren't ruling out more blockades. Sam Holder, ITV News.